yeah, obviously result excellent to come to, to Tottenham and, and win is is not easy. So um yeah, fantastic result for us. Performance wise, I thought yeah, we deserved the victory. I thought the chances created were yeah, I thought we were excellent really. We we're able to counter attack well, one thing which we, we know we're gonna be able to do. Um and some detail of how we counter attack Tottenham and um why we were able to get in some good situations, but also when Tottenham pressed us, the lads being able to find real good solutions in the structure to to cause them problems in possession as well as just counter. So, um, and then we knew we would be able to press aggressively sometimes, and we would have to be in a a real compact low block and try and make the spaces as small as possible for them in in others. And um, if they were the four key parts to the game plan, I thought we were we were near enough perfect in in all of them today. So credit to the group. <laughs> Yeah, we um I knew Zhao would be massive to us today, the way I saw the game going and and yeah, what I thought we'd need from the game plan. So um he suffered a kick on his foot on Wednesday in training, kicked the bottom of someone's boot and it swelled up quite bad. So we were worried that we were gonna not have him in back in time. Um and I knew that would be a huge blow because today's game was gonna suit him. We were gonna be without the ball for spells, but we were going to try and make it compact and we knew he'd be able to press people and regain the ball like he did. Um, and I thought he was he was excellent at that. I'm very keen to still try and improve what he is with the ball. Um, he knows that. We work very hard on it with him. His understanding with the ball and, and how clean he is with it sometimes, his passes and, you know, we had a, just to give him some criticism just to keep him grounded. We had a fantastic opportunity in the first half to counter-attack and I think he misses Pedro and it goes off for a throw-in. Um, so those moments I want for him more than just for the team, him to be perfect at as well as um, what he was able to do today without the ball and obviously two fantastic goals. So for a 21-year-old to, to come away to Tottenham and produce that performance is um, extremely impressive. <laughs> Um, yesterday morning um, I was worried he'd have to miss training Friday but he was fine um, and then I was just a bit worried that he might feel it during training but he, he got through it fine told me he was happy enough with how it felt so um, as I said he was important to the game plan so was was desperate to have him involved today you know he was aware of that Aware of oh, did, was Zhao aware of the Brazil manager being here? I, I have no idea. I'm not sure. Um, I think you you know what you're going to get from Zhao, whether there's one person and his dog here watching, or the Brazil manager, or the Real Madrid manager, or whoever else might want to watch Zhao. Um, I hope he's just trying to impress me. Um, impress me today. So good day for him. Yeah, you know, you no, no. Uh, I was desperately looking forward to seeing all three of them back together. Um, and we will. We definitely will. So, Mateus Cunha, real good news on him. He's had a good week. He's been in the gym already doing some work on his hamstring. Um, so, obviously, there'll be no rushing for him. But he's really keen to push and get back and help this team as quickly as possible. Um, and, yeah, losing Pedro earlier in the season, I think it was key for the team to because he was in such good form at that moment, Pedro. Um, and I think we maybe lost the first game without him, did we, at Sheffield United? And then we were able to put a real big victory on the board quickly. And I think today, the lads losing Mateus Cunha and how big he's been for us, because it is a massive blow for us to lose him with the form that he's been in. For us to come away and win without Mateus um, shows the boys that, yeah, we can still do this as a team. We can stick together. We can still create chances. So I miss Mateus. Um, a lot today I miss seeing what he does and what he gives to the team but I also enjoyed watching the team fight and scrap and produce moments of quality with, without him Gary how much of a mental challenge was it that you lost the goal after 35 seconds in the second half then come again and then you lose it yeah terrible goal um, especially so similar to the Manchester United goal when we were at 3 all, um and we let them throw it into an attacking player Um crazy really um, to do it once and we've, we've we've repeated it again today so something as always something that we know we need to improve um, and then once they throw it into an attacking player there's chances of ricochets or in the Man United game there was a chance of the attacking player doing something brilliant today it was ricochets and a couple of missed tackles and all of a sudden it's in your goal so we can't afford to give goals away like that 
but uh, yeah, to to give Tottenham that lift because we were in complete control really of the first half. I know they had possession, but we created a far better chances. My talk at half time was all about keep pushing forward and creating more chances and scoring more goals to to give the place such a lift um, so quickly. It was obviously very disappointing, but then as I speak about this with the boys a lot that you will be tested today at some point there will be a setback there will be a referee indecision someone will score against us there'll be something that you need to dig in and get together on um, and delighted that they managed to respond in the way they did and created maybe three or four really good chances after that Sure, there's another eye-catching performance from Petrovic an amazing assist for the winner which Jordan Henderson scored against Tottenham Hotspur and what is what is possible for um, I think his strengths are incredibly strong. Um, obviously, his, his athleticism and his pace is excellent. His quality on the ball when he's dribbling or when he's trying to find a pass at the end of it uh, is excellent. I'm still working really hard on improving certain bits of him that I think he, he needs to improve, in my opinion. He, he knows that. We've spoken about it already. So, um, about how much he can do for the team and um, out of possession stuff and still some understanding with the ball. So he knows that we, we want to improve him. I think it would be yeah really lazy of me and sort of to just say, oh, he's fantastic. Let's just let him get on with it and we'll see how see how well he does. I still want to push him and try and get him as close to perfect as a, as a wide player as we can. Um, and yeah, I've, I've been asked a few times this week about the summer already and I'm not interested in discussing Pedro Neto leaving the football club. He's a, he's a fantastic player that um, we spent a lot of money on, that we work very hard on. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, we, we don't want to lose our best players. So um, um, we have a long way to go yet this season. And then hopefully he stays with us and we can we can keep pushing towards the top half of the table. Can you try to go to Europe? I, I haven't seen the league table tonight, but I don't, I don't really set goals in league table positions, especially with a group that I... I didn't know when I joined um, and most of the talk at that point was around relegation. So to switch talk from relegation to Europe is a, is a big sort of jump. So um, the lads know what I think we should be looking to achieve this year, which is just trying to be perfect in every game, um, whether it be at home where teams let us have the ball like Brentford, which we haven't, we haven't been able to crack yet, um, or whether it be away from home where we have to dig in. I, I want us to be able to do all of it every week. So um, and find a level of consistency. So the next bit is making sure we're we're better in in some games at home when we have the ball, and um, yeah, and then wherever that takes us in the league, it'll take us. I'll I'll keep pushing them to the to the final whistle at Anfield in the end of May, or or hopefully beyond that if we're able to to keep a cup run going. Yeah, you seem so well prepared for every game. Not as you just mentioned when you first came in, the talk was about relegation. Is it surprising yourself how it's turned out? Now we're asking questions about you. Um, yeah, I'd probably say I was slightly surprised in in how quickly we were able to impact the group. Um, having worked with them, it's not a surprise that they keep surprising other people. To me, it's um, yeah, their togetherness and their willingness to work, and you can see out there like everyone's out on their feet at the end. You know, they, they're giving absolutely everything for the club, for myself, for each other, um, which always gives us a chance. Um, but they do, we do have some real quality as well, so. The squad is small, as we've spoken about, um, mainly down to financial reasons. So the fact that it is small does allow us to have some really good players in there within the within the, the financial structure. So we have some fantastic players available to us. It's key that we work hard to keep them fit because we don't have real depth. Um, but we will keep pushing, and you know we we can't get too unlucky with too many other serious injuries to to top players. But if if we we're fortunate and things go our way and we're able to keep pushing and see how see how far up the table we can finish. Yeah, I know, I know you'll be level about your, uh, would you encourage the fans to dream when it's two points of seven? Yeah, I love the fans dreaming. Um, one of my favourite parts of the job really is that I'm not allowed to get carried away and think about things that, that might happen but the they they I love them being able to think about it you know if we were if we were on 22 points right now they'd be worried about how we get our next win and are we going to stay up so that the fact that we've got to 35 already they can yeah they can talk about a title charge for all I care I'm delighted that they're enjoying themselves and got to share another another fantastic moment with them today which is um 
yeah, really special. You can see the connection between the players and the fans and um, just need to keep trying to push it and improve everything. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good weekend.